Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here at Tailman. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to be playing with this deck, which if you see it, it, it feels messy and it's because it is. So here's a backstory. This player, um, who is apparently from Mexico, I don't actually know who they are. However, they are number one, very bad mannered online. I've seen tons of screenshots of their uh, online tournament history and chats and whatnot of them um, not being very pleasant, um, especially if they've lost. And they play the weirdest decks and choices and I don't know. Um, they used to be playing Pokeball. I've played against them once and I beat them. Uh, they were very close to beating me uh, because they kept flipping heads on Opal <laughs> and Pokeball. Right? Seems like they've since stopped playing Pokeball now. Now they're playing four Great Ball instead of Evolution Incense, right? Because why would you play a card that guarantees your evolution rather than um, something that's random? But I figured, like, I honestly see them do very well online. Like, they, they do very well at online tournaments. They play a bunch. They do really well. Uh, they win a bunch, they top cut a bunch, even like the big tournaments, like they're always up there. So, I mean, I'm here. This could be a, an interesting thing to um, to showcase, I guess. Um, I mean, off the top, right, we can immediately see Ditto V, which feels really weird when you have um, the Giratinas and the Arceus as your only attackers. Like, why not just play a third Giratina? Because four Arcus is certainly enough, but I mean, here we are, right? Where they did OB. <laughs> uh, they're also playing the 1 1 Light Bard with the trade ability. We all know how good trade is. Uh, so Arc GX obviously dominated. Um, there's only one, it's two extra cards per turn, right? So you could argue, well, instead of B Barrel, sometimes drawing you five, <laughs> which is more than two, etc. This is always two, right? It's like, okay, fair, right? You get that plus two every turn but at the cost of a card, right? Which can help thinning. Okay, I see it, okay? <laughs> Radiant Greninja as well, um, because, I don't know, um, there's 13 energies total in this deck, only six basic energies, not having a lot of synergy with Trinity Nova, but once again, this person, like, they use this deck to win a tournament or something, and then we have, like, Bird Keeper um, instead of... I don't know, Air Balloon, like, I don't know why you would play Earth Keeper and you're already playing three switches. Um, there's three bosses, three Marnie, three Research, that's pretty standard. But then we have Opal, <laughs> where you flip the coins and you search your deck for a number of cards up to a number of heads and you put them into your hand and then you shuffle your deck, which, I mean, sort of like um, Tylene in a way. I don't know. Um, if you flip double heads every time, then it's <laughs> really good. And then we have Pierce, which gets you an energy and gets you your Crobat or your Lightheart set up. So the little synergy going on there. Uh, two Path to Peak along with one Pumpkaboo. Um, why would you want to play more than two, right? I don't know. Uh, only one Choice Belt. So four Great Ball once again, along with four Quick Ball and four Ultra Ball. Like, that's really good consistency-wise, you know? But the only reason you play Great Ball is if you don't have access to other better cards such as evolution incense which we do right so i don't know why you leave it up to chance we can just guarantee your evolution um because even the great ball like sure great ball gets evolutions or basics but you can also get nothing right it, you're only looking at top seven cards therefore uh you're only like you're not guaranteed to get whatever you need so i don't know <laughs> play a few games with this see how it flows um and that's it. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of fun today with this. Um, I call it Bat BM Arc, yeah, Batmaner's Arc. If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailman code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed products or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website, PokemonCard.io. 
All right, so we did win the coin flip. We saw started Radiant Greninja, and uh, we have a Great Ball, right? Which in this situation in particular would be better than the Evolution instance. Yeah, I'll give you that. Um, so we get two attempts at an Arceus. Not quite, but we'll take the Giratina. So attempt number two. All right, no Arceus for for us on turn one which is of course not ideal. Did this card a grass. I want to go ahead and attach the grass. And that's it. My bird must be really confused seeing great balls, seeing Giratina and seeing a Perline <laughs> in the bench. Um, so like I said, if we had not um, played the great, if we didn't have the great balls, we wouldn't have had a chance at finding the Arceus. But at this point, right, generally at this point, I would have preferred them to be Pokeballs, right? Because then you have a 50% chance to definitely find the Arceus. Whereas with the Great Balls, you're only looking at the top seven cards out of your 40 plus card deck. Therefore, you're not really having a greater than 50% chance at finding them. So here we are. Yeah, this is the uh, place we live in now. And so this is even more awkward. I think I have to give up the line here um we're probably up against torch deck i reckon i really like i played giratina at locals yesterday i really wish i could figure out how these decks without luminion always have the call res and i just i couldn't call res more than once in a lot of games um okay so really all right well we got that so I think I'm just going to hold this, honestly, because I have the Arceus. If I research, then I'm just looking for Arceus again, right? So what's the point in that? Mm, I'm thinking of the path. No, that'll only hurt me. They also don't want to bench the pump kill for sure. All right, the back-to-back Colruses after, I don't know, like how? You only play four. Oh, they always have the Colrus. Oh, wow. They are playing six again, so it's not just Torch Sack. And they didn't even need to search for the six again. They just had it. So they could not have handpicked their cards any better. <laughs> How do they do it? All right. So I'm honestly just going to go ahead and Starbirth for a double turbo and a Barney here. <laughs> all right um i mean it is what it is my hand obviously wasn't stellar the deck doesn't seem like it's built very stellarly if you ask me but here we are all right i'm gonna play this to maybe slow them down a little bit we're gonna go ahead and trinity nova and like realistically we can't hide right um, because of Sable Light, like they can always just target us down wherever we are. And with no Sharon Scare, being two prizes down, it's just like, there's no way we win this one. Pretty sure. We just, like, they just have way more attack. How? <laughs> How do you have the Colrus again? Just raw. I just smarted you after you used two Colrus. You still have half your deck left. <laughs> How do they do it? Somebody explain this to me. I want to have those skills. I really want to have those skills. Six, seven, eight, nine. How do they do it? How? How do you always find cold rest every single turn? I do not understand. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, this is 100% over, right? No matter what I do, this is 100% over. Like, I take this KO, sure, and then they KO me. Probably should evolve, tank another hit. But it's just, it's not enough turns because of the Charizard. 
I'm just gonna give up. Like, <laughs> all right, up to the next one. All right. So now we got to go first. We get a mulligan. We get an arches. So things are looking much better. We're up against another lost box deck. So that could be problematic, if you will. All right. So I certainly need Crobat here. So I need to think I need to Crobat. So I need this. And then here's what I'm thinking. I want to bench this other Arches. I want to keep the Arches. I kind of don't want to keep the research because I have the V-Star. So I think that'll be fine. So what I'm thinking is. I go Ultra Wall, away the Research and the Ultra Wall, yep. And I bench the Tina as well. Um, my third lane is priced, so I can just bench the Greninja, I guess. I'll do this, we'll do this, the Greninja potentially... I mean, it won't help me get the turn on energy, because if I'm seeing other cards with the Greninja, then that means I got an energy, but uh, not too bad. And then we have these beautiful Great Balls. Not doing anything really, but <laughs> there they are. <laughs> All right. So, looking good and quirky so far, which is what we expected with this deck. Absolutely what we expected. Mana fee. All right. Um, okay. So, I mean, I do play three switches, so I should be able to find one. And then my opponent immediately concedes for some reason. So, yeah. <laughs> On to the next one, I guess. All right. So, here we are in our next game. Probably up against Blissey this time around. And I guess Giratina does serve the purpose of beating Miltank. So, that's decent, I guess. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. Oof, that definitely hurts, though. Okay, that's actually really good. So here's what I'm going to do. With the Great Ball, I'm going to try and get an Arceus. Which, I mean, actually that's not too bad. That is honestly not too bad. Well, now I Quick Ball for the Arceus. Yeah, it's just the boss is potentially really good, and so is the choice belt. So I can one shot the Blissey with Giratina. So then that leaves very few cards. I mean, I can give up on the Marnie, I guess. All right, I'm going to grab the Arceus. And then if I quick pull the Marnie and attach, yeah, there's no. All right, so the Great Ball was mute then. I think I'm going to discard the Arceus, actually. Now I'm going to discard the Ultra Ball. I'd rather keep the Arceus for now. All right, we're just going to go Arceus attach, and then we're going to attach the belt right here. And I'm just going to Marty get myself a better hand. See what else we can do here. Uh, that is definitely not a better hand. All right, well, Great Ball to the rescue. Now there's, I mean, if Great Ball finds me, the Pumka would then sure, but. <laughs> Very awkward, hand and start. Okay, I put on retreats. That's three double two rows already, which makes Miltank less of a threat, unless we see Sharon Scare eventually. All right. That's a good top deck. We do find the Arceus V-Star, which is fantastic. My opponent switched out for us, which is great as well. So now we're looking for Ultra Wall or Quick Ball or Pankabu off of this Marnie. Okay, well, we got the double two, I guess. That's something. 
So we do have the shred attack. We do two shot the blissey, which is nice. Um, yeah, just gonna power up right here on the bench, my Giratina, and then. So like, like in the end, this is an Arcus deck, right? So it does have its merits. It's just really awkward sometimes. Okay, there's a hyper potion. There's a powerful energy. Mm -hmm. There's a research. Discarding Avery. And there's the Blissful Blast setting up the two shot very nicely for them. And okay, they're at 240 HP. But if I go ahead and knock them out with Giratina V Star, then the mill tank becomes a problem because I have no way to recover energies. But I have not, like, I have nothing. I literally have nothing left here to do. I can't draw any cards. I can't. I mean, I can go boss, retreat, KO the mill tank. That's literally the only thing I can do. But then I'm going to lose my um, Giratina. And that's it. It's. Because they will have an energy to attach. They did 140 last time and they attached that energy. So clearly they're going to be taking a knockout here. Yeah. Nothing you can do here. Nothing you can really do. So, I mean, wow. Overall, this deck's just not good. Honestly, just not very good. All right, I need a, the most magical top deck of top decks here. And that is not it. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? We had our fun. Um, how does this player keep doing it? I have no idea. But here we are. Yeah, we gave the deck a solid three game run. And it felt extremely awkward. And the Great Ball once found out what we actually needed. Um, in one instance, Pokeballs would have been better, which I, like I said, I know this player has played Pokeballs. I don't know. I don't know what to think. Um, BM Mark, not quite for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you made it all this way to the end of the video, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.